Let's move to the Las Vegas Raiders here. Um, they fired Dave Ziegler and Josh McDaniels um, after a three and five start. Antonio Pierce, in my opinion, is a very appealing option. This is also a team I've heard them less, um, but being in the running for Harbaugh, because my opinion is um, who's the Mark Davis definitely is one of those guys, in my opinion, who would give up like GM responsibilities to a Jim Harbaugh just to get the culture right. But in my opinion, with the locker room they have, I don't know what they're going to do at quarterback because I don't know if Aiden O'Connell is going to be your guy moving forward. He may be next year. Antonio Pierce seems like the best guy to go with. Honestly, no, I say, I'm sorry. Again, if you're a Raiders fan, I don't know how you feel about this. But again, I, I'm just telling you from the bipartisan perspective. I think what he showed me, like how bought in that they looked and were this year. I haven't seen that in a long time from the Raiders at oh, all. Yeah. And on top of it, especially think, with the the their, te- their defense is not that talented. I was going to say, like, that's the thing is when he stepped away from that role to be the head coach, it's not like it was like, OK, then now it was like we lost the identity. Like, no, the defense was still right on point and on top of it. I think like offense, you still got a lot of work to do, but they still there was they had plenty of productive games this year. Like that, the Raiders were very midline offense, but it was never like, in my opinion at least, more than more than once or twice, like a completely underwhelming game where you're like, okay, obviously AP like he can't you know like he can't game plan this. It was like no like every week AP came with a pretty good game plan, and it wasn't even like that was what he was expecting to do this whole season. Like I'm sorry. Again, because I was big on it with Pisaccia, but Pisaccia felt different. Like Pisaccia was, it was AP good. seems like a real yeah. Like AP, it's like it's like real long term. With Rich, it was kind of like it might work again next year, but I'm not. It's like how's that really going to go long, long term? With AP, it's like no, I can actually see him like building a culture. I really can. Yeah, I mean, I think all the players are behind him too. I think the way he has galvanized that locker room, and also like fucking Jack Jones. Jack Jones has been a stud since they signed him or not. Wait, because they got that's, him from the Patriots. Yeah. Correct? yeah. And that's and yeah, it, where it's like, I think Jack, and Jack Jones, honestly, on the Patriots, even he he had plenty of stud moments. It was just like you how it reminded me about it, it was kind of like it wasn't working out with him personally. And there was like personal stuff, but he's always been a talented guy. Yeah. So, I mean, I think the main issue for them is filling the GM because they actually have not had any requests, formal requests to interview head coaches. So Antonio Pierce may be the guy for them. Um, I guess kind of to close this out, because I don't really know how much we can talk about, like if they're not asking to interview anybody, I, I, I honestly don't know like where you would really go outside of Antonio Pierce. It, is, it feels like it, that's the thing is it feels like it's Harbaugh or anything. And that's probably why there's no request, because it's like at this point, everyone still doesn't even know where things stand with Harbaugh. Yeah. I think honestly, Harbaugh is going to be a charger. But um, let's talk quarterback really quick before we move on. I feel like they're. If Antonio Pierce is the coach, I have a strong, strong feeling that if, if, very strong if, the Patriots do not take Jane Daniels at that number three spot, that Jane Daniels is either going to be a giant or he's going to be a Raider because I believe in Jane Daniels' Heisman speech, he, he named Antonio Pierce. And I, it just, it would just make too much sense with the way they have built that culture there. Oh, I'm sure that's the thing. It's like, let's again, let's let's even cut it down to like what's going on right now, right here, right now, like today. When they're when they're meeting with AP and they're like, "What's your vision?" I have no doubt he's probably brought that up to them. Like, you know what? My vision because they, you know the Harbaugh vision. The Harbaugh vision is I'm gonna come in and I want JJ. Like I want my guy and to keep building with JJ McCarthy. But with AP, I'm sure you're getting a different vision. Like, I, hey, if we could find a way to get him on the team. Like, that's my boy. Like, let's like, like we, we, we're going to rot out. So I'm sure that they're weighing their options right now. It's literally almost like, do we want potentially, because that's, it's a much bigger swing, but it's like, do we want Harbaugh and JJ or are we thinking AP and whatever he can cook and cook, you know, cook up with? Because even regardless, obviously with, with Harbaugh, even if you get him, it's like you guarantee JJ, if someone else wants to shoot above you and take him. But I don't think with right now he's put, he's put out. And like I said, I think JJ is an interesting, interesting player because I actually, I think his tape's a lot more redeeming than it is to a lot of people. Where a lot of people are like, I don't see why he's considered a first round pick. I, I can, but I also don't think he's anywhere near consistent enough yet. Where he's kind of be like going to be in a Jordan Love type of situation per se, where you're not going to see those flashes if you just throw him out in the fire right away. Like you got to give him still time to develop. But I think he has like that. It is just a matter of like when it can come out in the NFL. So the Raiders have got I think a lot he has of to sit uh, a year. Yeah, the Raiders got a lot of considering to do for sure. 